things that used to matter just don't anymore. You start to realize that you've been living asleep. <laughs> you have been living on autopilot without realizing that there's another way to live life. There's another way to experience this magical reality of being on planet Earth. There's so much magic when you decide to slow down. But living slowly is a choice. It's a conscious, deliberate, intentional choice. And that's why slow living is also intentional living. It's choosing to ignore the pace at which everyone else is going at. Like, you have to ignore the pace at which society is living, at which your peers are living, all the people you know, and the cities that are so popular to live in, you know, the lifestyles, the careers. You have to ask yourself, is it worth it to get all that success, to be seen, to be busy, to have so much fun doing so many things? Is it worth it for me and my peace, my inner peace? Oh, that was magical. Did you hear that? You have to ask yourself, everything comes at a cost. You know, if you decide to move to a city, right? If you decide that your goals are not big enough and you want to aim higher and dream so big that your goals are so out of reach, that's awesome. You know, it's great to dream big. But for some of us, those big dreams come at a cost for some of our mental like health and our nervous systems, right? For some of us who are very sensitive and emotional, for some of us, the bigger dreams are exhausting. Instagram and social media and access to other people's lives, celebrities, influencers, all these people that are living such grand, big, city-filled, you know, adventurous lives. It's like we're so, we're so plugged in. And it's really easy to forget what it is you want. It's really easy to forget what it is that you want in life and what you aspire to and what is your dream and your values. And it's very easy to get swept away. And so, you know, if you decide to live slowly, know that number one, you're waking up, you're waking up, you're leaving this like matrix world. <laughs> and number two, it will feel hard and it will be tempting. There are temptations to, you know, leave your values and to leave what your intuition and your inner voice is calling you to do. But living slowly though provides a richness to life that is so pure. You know, I went to the mall the other day, Alex and I went to the mall just to go get a crepe because they have these Speculoos Nutella crepes that are so good at the mall. And we stopped by and we walked around for like 15 minutes after and I was so exhausted. I was so depleted from the overhead lights, from the music in the stores, from the sounds of the people, from all of the advertisements and the clothes and the prices and the, the stimulation of all the things. I was so gone. <laughs> I was so not in my body and not present and not fully in my pure divine self. After we left the mall, I asked Alex to drop me off at the beach so I could take the 20 minute walk home and that one walk, being in nature, being by the trees, being by the water, it replenished me. It helped me, it recentered me and brought me back to my inner voice and to who I am, you know, the, the purity of the source of who I am. I just kind of realized a lot of people are lost and they're plugged into the matrix. They're plugged into a source of things, shopping, addictions, escapism, media, you know, dark stuff, dark media, you know, there's just so much that is distracting us from the truth of like what it is we're here to do and why we're here. And when you decide to live slowly, you're, you're opting out of the matrix. You're, you're opting out, you're plugging yourself out and there are going to be temptations. There are going to be things that are going to vie for your attention and try to distract you. But do you have the strength to say no? Do you have the inner strength within you and the power within you to ignore those distractions and to say no to social media and say no to all of the corporations and things that just want you to stay plugged in? I just think society has brainwashed us. Our peers, our parents, society, all of it since childhood has made us believe that we need to do certain things in order to be happy and that we can't opt out and that life is meant to accomplish things. 
that you're meant to do big things. That's what being on earth is about. There's another way to live life. You can leave the rat race at any time. You can choose to have less and choose joy and choose peace over happiness or what <laughs> mass conditioning and mass societal programming deems happiness is. This is what happens when you live slow. There is an inner peace that's gained and an inner awareness. You wake up to the fact that you've been plugged in for far too long. And you wake up to the magic of life, to the beauty of life, and to the wonder that's all around us and that's present all the time. You wake up to awareness, to the fact that you are awareness in consciousness, that you are part of the divinity of all things. You are one with all things, a leaf, a blade of grass, an insect, a human, everything. We are all so energetically sourced and connected to one another. And when you choose to live slowly, you start to open that awareness. That little seed starts to grow.